In this demonstration, I'll show you how to find the limit of a function using delta and epsilon for two separate examples. The first thing that you want to do when it comes to proving this using epsilon and delta is to set your a, f, and your l. This is your function, this is your l value, and that right there will represent your a value. And we want to do two things. One, find a delta and this symbol represents delta and two prove that the limit works so what we want is the following we want f at x minus l and the absolute of f of x minus l is less than epsilon when 0 is less than the absolute of x minus a and is less than delta. So what we're going to do is substitute the values of f, l, and a into this. Let's start over here. 3x minus 1 minus 14, because we're bringing this 14 over, less than epsilon when... 0 is less than the absolute of x minus 3 less than delta. Next, I'll simplify this. 5x minus 15, and those are absolutes, is less than epsilon. Factoring this gives us 5x minus 3 is less than epsilon or 5 absolute of x minus 3 absolute is less than epsilon. So therefore, if I were to isolate for x minus 3, I would end up with x minus 3 is less than epsilon over 5, and this is what I will choose as my delta that fulfills part one stated above. Next, we will let epsilon be greater than zero. That said, if zero is less than x minus three, those are absolutes, less than delta, then f at x minus l is equal to the absolute value of 5x minus 1 minus 14. And this can be simplified to 5x minus 3, 5, and the, the absolutes can take these two terms. And remember, we set this equal to our delta. And our delta was equal to epsilon over 5. So we have 5 delta, and this can be replaced with epsilon over 5. We end up with 5 times epsilon over 5. And these two cancel out, leaving us with simply epsilon. That proves our limit exists. Therefore, the limit as x approaches 3 for the following function 5x minus 1 is in fact 14. Moving on to question 2. In this question they're asking us to prove that the limit as x approaches 5 for the function 6x minus 12 is equal to 18. I'll label this as my function f of x, this will be my l, and this will be my a. And what we want is the absolute of f at x minus l is less than epsilon when 0 is less than x minus a and is less than delta. I will start off by writing out my f of x minus l and simplifying. 
6x minus 12 minus 18 is less than epsilon. These two subtracted give us negative 30. And I can easily factor this right now by pulling out a 6 and being left with x minus 5. Epsilon over 6, and what I did is I divide both sides by 6, will be my delta. Next, we must let epsilon be greater than 0. And if 0 is less than x minus 5 and less than delta, then the absolute of f at x minus l is equal to 16x minus 12 minus 18. This leads us to 6x minus 30 and subsequently 6 the absolute of x minus 5 this we know is equal to delta and delta we know is equal to epsilon. The two sixes cancel out, leaving us with simply f at x minus l is equal to epsilon. And so therefore, our limit as x approaches 5 for the function 6x minus 12 is in fact 18. And there you have it. That is how to prove that a limit exists using epsilon and delta. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, you may visit our website at biology-forums.com. We are an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.